Thomas and the Statue. Winter was coming to the island of Sodor. The leaves had fallen from the trees, and fog rolled over the countryside. One chilly morning, the Fat Controller came to Tidmouth Sheds. He had a special announcement to make. A statue is to be put up in the park, he said. It will celebrate the Sodor Railway. The engines were very excited. Thomas was to collect the statue from Brendam Docks. I wonder what it'll be, Pete Percy. As soon as I find out, puffed Thomas, I'll come back and tell you. And he steamed away. <laughs> but when Thomas arrived at the docks, Cranky was still unloading the statue. Hurry up, Cranky, said Thomas. I want to be the first to see it. Cranky didn't like being rushed. Why are you so excited to see the statue? Do you think it's going to be of you? He scoffed. Thomas didn't say anything. He was too busy watching the workmen open up the crate. The statue was covered by a large tarpaulin. It had a very familiar look. There was a tall funnel shape at the front, and then a wide shape at the back. The shape was just like Thomas's shape. Suddenly, Thomas was very excited. Perhaps, he whistled, it really could be of me. That night, Thomas couldn't wait to tell the other engines about his statue. But when he arrived at the sheds, all the engines were asleep. Thomas was too excited to sleep. He peeped his whistle to wake Percy up. Percy, Percy, I think the statue is of me, boasted Thomas. Really, Thomas, you want Percy? That's nice. It will be wonderful to have my very own statue, tooted Thomas. He couldn't wait for morning to come. The following day, the Fat Controller told the engines they were to go to the washdown. All except Thomas. He was to collect more things for the statue. First, Thomas went to Wellsworth Station. He was to collect a special block for the statue to stand on. Are you looking forward to seeing my statue? He called to Edward. It might not be your statue, puffed Edward. But Thomas wasn't listening. Thomas arrived at Maithwaite Station. He had to collect a special podium for the back controller to stand on. Look, Thomas cried to Emily. The fat controller will make a speech when they uncover my statue. Who says it's going to be your statue? Emily huffed. You'll see, said Thomas. And he wished away. Percy arrived as Thomas's trucks were being unloaded. Thomas started to talk to Percy about his statue again. Please stop talking about the statue, Pete Percy. Thomas was surprised. No one wants to hear about it anymore. No one wants to talk to you anymore, Percy added crossly. And neither do I. Thomas was left all alone. No one was talking to him. Thomas felt very sad. Thomas steamed towards Tidmouth's sheds. It had started to snow heavily, but Thomas kept going as fast as he could. He had to try and put things right with his friends. But well, when he arrived at Tidmouth, the fat controller was there. He looked worried. The tracks to Peel Station are blocked. None of you will be able to get to the ceremony, he said sternly. I'll clear the tracks, tooted Thomas. I don't want you all to miss the party. The other engines were very surprised. They knew Thomas didn't like wearing his snowplow. Clearing the tracks would make Thomas late to see his statue. But the fat controller was pleased. You must work very hard, Thomas, he boomed. There's a lot to do. 
Thomas steamed off. He could not let them down. Thomas felt silly for showing off. No wonder no one was talking to him. There were still lots of tracks to clear. But it didn't matter to Thomas if he was late. Thanks to Thomas, everyone was able to get to Peel Station. They gathered near the statue. It was covered in snow. But the sun had started to shine, and the snow began to melt. The fat controller told everyone how proud he was of all his engines. But the engines were still thinking about Thomas, and they were still cross. Just then, there was a loud slooshing noise. A big patch of snow slid off the statue. Then another. Then another. The last of the snow fell to the ground. The engines were so surprised. That's not Thomas, gasped Gordon. No, it's all of us, Pete Percy. Everyone was very excited. Thomas pulled up. He was very surprised when he saw the statue. It's not of me at all, he cried. Thomas was very relieved and very happy. I'm very sorry that I made you all so cross, he puffed. I think this statue of us all is the best statue that could ever be. And all the engines agreed.